This video tutorial will cover the use of fluorescent proteins in FluoraFinder. In addition to choosing antibodies and dyes from our extensive list of commercially available reagents, FluoraFinder gives you the flexibility of adding custom products such as fluorescent proteins to your flow cytometry panel. At this time, FluoraFinder offers a choice of 44 different fluorescent proteins that span the color spectrum. To start off with, you may first want to check that your fluorescent protein will work optimally on your chosen cytometer. You can perform a quick search to determine if it fits, and if so, to add it to the available channel or channels. Now that you've verified that it will work on your cytometer, you have a couple of different ways you can incorporate your fluorescent protein in your panel. If you prefer to simply report the fluorescent protein, you can add it here. Alternatively, you may be using the fluorescent protein as a tag or as a marker to monitor the expression of another protein. If that's the case, you may want to add your protein of interest, for example, SOC17, here, and then associate it with the appropriate fluorescent protein in the next step. On the product selection page, you'll note that eGFP has already been added to your panel. To link your fluorescent protein with SOC17, you'll first need to check the Show Fluorescent Proteins box that will display all the optimal fluorescent proteins in each channel. You'll notice a zero in parentheses follows each fluorescent protein, indicating there are no commercial products available for these colors. You can select the appropriate fluorescent protein and add it as a custom product to your panel. It's as easy as that. Now you've seen how you can incorporate fluorescent proteins in your panel with FluoraFinder. If you have questions about protein stability, fluorescence lifetime, or other properties related to fluorescent proteins, please check out our resources page and some of the reference links notated here. For questions about FluoraFinder, email us at support at Thanks for listening and happy panel building!